In May, Abracadabra will be 20. And when we started, um, we had the opportunity because friends had this building and said, hey, do you want to have this space? And David and I had been doing craft fairs. And I also knew I always had David art to sell. People come and they rub his nose. So I imagine over time, he's going to get a shiny nose. I had never done anything like this before. I'd never been in retail. I'd never worked in a shop. But I did know that I enjoyed the craft fair circuit and um, working with people. And we started with a cinder block counter. The walls were white. It was very bare. We didn't have any money. And David was making whirly gigs. They were all hand carved. And over the years now, he's made all the metal that's behind me. Always bringing in something new, something different. I try to have a real blend between handmade and local or Washington made and from the world beyond. These are rice bags and coffee bean bags. And these fabrics are chosen by women here in the States. They're sewn by stay-at-home moms. So a cross between um, global and made in the US. I go to the Seattle gift show. I see lots and lots of reps. Also, my dining room table is never empty. We rarely get to have dinner <laughs> at our table because it's covered with catalogs, brochures, different things that I'm looking through. Hey! <laughs> hey there! I have many, many friends who come and they shop for their birthdays, for their kids, for their parents, for their friends. Birthday present. Birthday? <laughs> Whose birthday? Birthday present for Sarah. No. <laughs> Probably the most popular area of the store is the puppets. Meow. I have many, many things to make people laugh, which breaks the ice. <laughs> oh, wow. Can you look at the camera? Look at the camera. <laughs> Sometimes we just come and stop by and play. Yes. Just to play. Yeah. Just to come in and see what she has new. Look at that. He almost got a bullseye. No, Mama, do I'll I do that one again. Mama, it's very comfortable in here. Sometimes I'm even on the floor showing a game to a child. The magical helper. And we came here because we've never been here and I did some reading um, online about what the town had to offer and I thought it sounded very interesting and I love things that are Victorian and so I thought this would be a neat place to come. People come in and they think, oh, this is the most perfect job. And in some respects it is. I have a lot of fun shopping. I get to talk all day long <laughs> with very interesting people. People from all over the world, people from all over the country. And then I have my friends stopping in all day. Yay. When I go shopping, I have many of my locals in mind. My little friends who come in all the time and are looking for a birthday present for their friends. Or I have different of my girlfriends in mind. These are leather purses and wristlets. You can fit your cell phone and just enough, you know, cash or your debit card to go out for the night. And pretty fun. People are picking their favorite animals. I have some really fine tiles for people who like home decor and decoration. I have um, very affordable things for the teenagers who come in here and shop. Something for everybody. Woo! You're good. It's a fun looking store. Uh, lots to see. The kids will have a good time in here. There's educational things and just silly things, and grown ups like it too. <laughs> Bye. Thank Bye. you. What I love, and I tell people who are visiting, is that each store is unique. And each store takes on the personality of the owner. Unlike when you go to the mall, there's a, a special quality to the stores here.